strawberries and cream. I've never understood the British obsession with them. <laughs> but have you ever thought about the farmers who actually grow these strawberries? Well, let me introduce you to one of our potential customers, Farmer Joe. Joe has a farm the size of 50 football fields. Yet, every crop cycle, he struggles to know when and where to pick his fruit because he doesn't have the right data about the local conditions in his farm. He has a window of two weeks to pick his fruit. This results in 3%, 3% of all his strawberries to going to waste. And that means 100,000 pounds every crop cycle of production loss for Farmer Joe. So how do we then help farmers like Joe to reduce crop waste? Well, my name is Angelo Montero, and at Mothive, we install field devices next to the plant. They collect environmental information and soil moisture conditions, which then we push to our cloud. We run them against predictive models, which in turn generate real-time recommendations and alerts to farm managers and agronomists. And the way we do this magic is through our dashboard via email and also SMS, text messages, for full flexibility. Now, all of this obviously allows us to then provide to our customers the tools, the data, and the insights they need to, one, reduce crop waste and maximize their crop yields, two, reduce costs with labor and resources, and three, ultimately potentiate the product in the market for the farmer. Now, we started with berries because it's a high value crop and it's growing immensely in Europe with a demand of 7% every year. And it's a uh, industry valued only in the UK at 1.2 billion pounds. This is just berries. But Farmer Joe is not alone here in this quest. There are more than 2 million fruit and veg farmers struggling with the, with the problem we're solving. It only costs these farmers 160 pounds per month with no upfront costs with hardware whatsoever. This includes three devices, access to our data, and to our recommendations platform. And the way farmers are currently doing is they use their gut feeling. They use their experience. They've got these very expensive weather stations and soil probes, handheld devices. Now, on top of that, they need an agronomist who knows how to interpret the data, analyze the data, and then provide them feedback and insights. This has to stop. This is cumbersome, inefficient, and most of all, expensive for the farmer. Competition is very much crop agnostic, which means that their recommendations are generic, unlike ours. And the dashboards that they provide to farmers focus too much on raw data. That's not what the farmer wants. And they're expensive. But the good news is this is not just all theoretical here. Last year, we ran a very successful pilot project in Kent, UK, with Berry Gardens, the largest producer of berries in the UK, alongside Royal Botanic Gardens Q. We did the same at Quinta de Choca Palha, it's a vineyard in Portugal, and the wine there is really good, I must tell. And uh, in collaboration with a partner that we uh, developed called Cordova. And just last week, actually, we were in Tuscany in very windy and rainy conditions, but we managed to secure our first paying customer. The team, we're currently three awesome guys. I'm the CEO, and I have several years of experience delivering solutions and services in companies like Cisco, BP and Shell. Joan Maris is my co-founder, a senior software engineer who previously worked for Portugal Telecom, and Mark 
is our agriculture guy. He's a PhD in environmental science, sciences, and he's also a research fellow in RBGQ. Now, we're, for the next six months, we'll be raising 700,000 uh, pounds to essentially grow the team, hire data scientists, uh, salespersons, and agronomists that will help us to get to where we need to be, which is 90 customers by the end of 2019. And the money will, will also be used to purchase hardware, of course. Now, our vision is to empower the farmer by giving them the tools they need today to compete in the market tomorrow. Thank you very much. <laughs>